it's Meredith and I am back with video number 29 in this 30 days of GoPro series and if you're new here and you missed number one you're gonna want to head back there at the end of this video I'll link to it don't worry uh, so that you can grab that GoPro settings cheat sheet in the very last video in this series that was number 28 I gave you some recommendations for how to choose the right computer that you may want to use to edit your GoPro videos so what we're talking about today is software for your laptop or a desktop computer whether you have a Mac or a PC and I am talking about computers here I covered mobile editing apps in a previous video I prefer to edit all of my videos GoPro videos or non GoPro videos on my computer because I just think it's a lot easier so let's talk about what your video editing software options are first of all I need to mention that GoPro has its own video editing software it's called quick there's a quick app for your phone or your tablet there's also a quick app for the desktop they're two different things they're called the same thing now I went over how to use the quick app for desktop back in video number 25 but you should know that it's available for Mac and PC it's completely free and it's kind of like a hub that GoPro wants you to use to kind of manage your media files on your uh, on your desktop you can also update the cameras firmware and you can perform some video editing within the quick app as well but the video editing capabilities are pretty limited and I also need to mention that GoPro used to have a more fully functioning and feature rich video editing platform called GoPro studio which was also a free download for Mac and PC but they recently discontinued letting people download that so that was an update that came in August 2017 if you already have GoPro studio on your computer you can continue to use it I just I I think it won't probably be updated anymore um, and if you have never downloaded GoPro Studio then you're kind of out of luck. We're gonna talk about what the alternatives are for GoPro Studio today so don't worry about that. So there are a lot of free video editing software options for both Mac and PC users and there's also options on up to you know the hundreds of dollar range so let's start with free. If you're on a Mac you probably already have iMovie and that is a great piece of editing software whether you're a beginner or a more intermediate video editor person um, iMovie is a great piece of software and the fact that it's free is a really great bonus but it's only available if you're on a Mac if you're on a PC you can download a free video editor called VSDC I recently installed VSDC on my PC I played around with it a little bit it's a little bit confusing at first but I actually have a series coming up here on my YouTube channel where I'm going to show you how to get started with VSDC so if you're not subscribed to this channel and you're a PC user looking for some tips on how to use that free video editing software you want to make sure you're subscribed here so you don't miss it moving on to platforms that aren't free let's talk about some of the options that are less than a hundred dollars premiere elements by far is my favorite to recommend to beginners because it's available for Mac and PC and it gives you a kind of simpler editing mode which is perfect for newbies and, and then there's a more advanced mode which is a great way to kind of up your game a little bit when you're ready to step things up up. Premiere Elements is made by Adobe which is kind of a world-renowned company known for their um, illustration software Photoshop and things like that they also make Premiere Pro which is actually my preferred video editing platform but I'll talk about that in just a second so Premiere Elements runs between 60 and 70 dollars you can usually grab it on Amazon as a digital download sometimes it's on sale sometimes it's not but I will link to that below this video Filmora Wondershare is another popular choice for beginners it's also available for Mac and PC and it kind of reminds me of if you were gonna be doing some scrapbooking with your videos because there's a lot of um, filters and transitions and a lot of kind of um, bells and whistles that I don't usually use in my videos but it's great for beginners I've heard some people say they love it I've heard people say they don't love it so it's up to you to give it a try but it runs about 60 bucks and I'll link to that below this video some other video editing platforms that are PC only include power director pinnacle studio Magix, and Vegas which used to be a Sony platform but is now owned by Magix. and you can find direct links to all of the latest versions of all of the software that I mentioned in 
in the description below this video. For more advanced video editing, like I said, I use Premiere Pro, which is great. I love it. It's available for Mac and PC. And then if you're a Mac user, you also have Final Cut Pro as an option. Final Cut runs about $300 and Premiere Pro is subscription based and runs about $20 a month, depending on how many other pieces of Adobe software you are also subscribing to. Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro are considered more advanced video editors and they can be very daunting at first when you first um, open them up. It's hard to kind of know how to get started with them. So I don't recommend them for complete beginners, but if you find that you really enjoy editing your GoPro videos or any kind of videos and you want to get better and you want to get quicker, then upgrading yourself to a more advanced editor is going to be awesome for you. So like I said, I will link to every piece of software that I mentioned down in the description box below this video. And if you decide to use Premiere Elements or iMovie, I want you to check out my crash courses that I created. They walk you through how to use each of those programs from beginning to end. So I'll link to those in the description below this video as well. And if you wanna save a few bucks, you can use the code GoPro Series at checkout. So stay tuned for the next video. Hit that subscribe button because I'm going to go over some very important tips and tricks for brand new GoPro users who are just getting into their editing. No matter what computer you're using, no matter what software you choose, you're going to want to stick around. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to go back to video number one. I'll link that now so that you can grab my GoPro settings cheat sheet. Bye.